Hello everyone, how is everybody doing? Mariana here from Change Naturopathy. Uh, today we will be keep going on to the topic of uh, connection between our gastrointestinal uh, system, our guts, with other systems in the body. Uh, specifically today we will be talking about gut uh, uh, connection with the immune system. But before that, uh, let's just quickly recap uh, what we talked in the last video about gut brain connection. So today's research uh, really uh, showing and uh, gaining deeper understanding uh, how, about uh, uh, that uh, connection between our gut and our uh, brain. It really definitely exists and uh, that one system influences the another one. So health of one system of our gut influences the health of the our brain. Uh, the gut and brain connection uh, uh, exists through bi bi-directional uh, communication pathways uh, called the uh, gut-brain axis. And that uh, uh, bi-directional communication uh, means that health uh, of one system depends on the other one, like I said. But also when our, for example, microbiome uh, in the gut uh, uh, gets out of balance, uh, uh, it can trigger immune system to react and produce inflammation in the gut. Uh, and inflammation in the gut uh, can uh, lead to uh, intestinal permeability and uh, so uh, uh, reducing the health of our uh, uh, protective lining of our gut. And inflammation in the gut uh, then uh, because of the connection with the brain causing the production of inflammation in the brain, uh, what is called neuroinflammation which uh, then uh, leads to uh, low mood, uh, poor mental health, uh, uh, brain fog, and, and many other uh, brain and mental health issues. So talking about connection between uh, brain, uh, between uh, our gut and uh, our immune system, uh, we know that, uh, that definitely that connection exists because we uh, research has been also establishing that uh, uh, about uh, 70 to 80 uh, percent of uh, immune cells reside uh, actually in our gut within our gas gas gastrointestinal tract so uh, the state of our gut uh, uh, regulates the straight strength uh, of our immunity meaning that um, our uh, ability of our body to uh, fight uh, all growth uh, of unwanted pathogens within our body, what could be viruses, bacteria, yeast, parasites, uh, really depends on the state of uh, our gut and uh, therefore it's connected to the immune system. So your body and your gut comes uh, into uh, contact with those potentially harmful uh, organisms from uh, our oh, you know, environment from uh, intake of the food uh, from environmental toxins so so from many from from the air so from many many sources so that is why it's very important important that um, uh, our gut uh, really have uh, uh, diversity of microbiome uh, diversity of microbiome and immune cells will help uh, uh, our immune system to be really uh, have a uh, healthy immune system, uh, good strength of immune system that can fight off uh, if we get in contact with those pathogens or if we uh, have overgrowth of those pathogens in, in our body. Uh, so our immune system will react if those invaders, let's say some bacteria, some, uh, some virus come into our body uh, from different, different sources. Um, I'll give you uh, maybe simpler example, physical example. If if you uh, get injured, if you get cut, uh, if your skin get cut, you get get a, that a small wound. You know very well that uh, uh, very soon after uh, you got a, that cut, you cut uh, around that cut uh, become uh, red, uh, inflamed. So that's your immune system really reacting uh, uh, on onto that uh, uh, immediately onto that area. Uh, preventing uh, uh, bacteria coming from outside environment from the air uh, to actually uh, 
uh, get uh, deeper into the body to get uh, to prevent the bacteria to go uh, into our bloodstream. So produ produ by production of uh, 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 inflammation uh, and increase the temperature, uh, our uh, immune system actually uh, uh, engulfing that bacteria which might come uh, onto that wound uh, and uh, preventing bacteria to replicate, preventing and, and killing basically bacteria with a high temperature and, and uh, engulfing it in, into the inflammation. Uh, because inflammation comes from the Latin word inflammo, uh, uh, which means uh, uh, being on fire, uh, it just sh uh, actually shows us uh, that uh, our immune system actually uh, putting on fire uh, the areas of injury, areas where invaders uh, uh, trying to come into into our body in, into into our system so similarly uh, if you are uh, get sick from um, uh, cold or flu so we have uh, uh, bacterial virus affecting your body uh, you will uh, react uh, uh, and you know you, you will have increased body temperature and you, you will uh, start becoming feverish uh, which really is just simply a, a reaction of your immune system, protection of your immune system, uh, increasing the temperature uh, to uh, kill the bacterial virus uh, that is uh, overgrown in, in, in our body because they can't live under higher temperatures and produ production of uh, inflammation. So in those instances, in those acute uh, uh, examples, acute uh, uh, from time to time, uh, examples of injuries or, or, or colds, uh, seasonal colds or flus, uh, our immune system really uh, is important uh, to react in that way and produce inflammation and uh, protect us from uh, further um, development of more serious uh, injury, injuries or diseases. However, if uh, our immune system is exposed to, uh, for a prolonged uh, period of time, um, on uh, how they understood this uh, uh, injury, for example, uh, even uh, uh, emotional uh, and physical stressors that we are uh, exposed, uh, exposing our bodies uh, for a prolonged period of time, uh, actually causing our immune system to, to react and produce inflammation. And uh, similarly, uh, overly processed food, sugary foods, uh, which are inflammatory foods, and it's called inflammatory because when we intake them uh, uh, in a lot, in, in a huge amounts and uh, over a prolonged period of time, our immune system will react to that, trying to protect us from those uh, foods uh, because those foods causing oxidative stress uh, in, in our body. So they cause uh, producing inflammation. So if we are uh, intaking those kind of foods uh, over a prolonged period of time, if we are under emotional stress uh, over a prolonged period of time, our uh, immune system will uh, produce huge amount of inflammation and our immune system can't deal anymore with that um, chronic production of inflammation. And that's uh, when it uh, uh, becomes really uh, difficult and serious. And when that's when uh, uh, we start uh, to develop uh, certain uh, chronic conditions in our body. Why is that? Because our cells in that um, case uh, become really, because of lots of inflammation, become very sticky. Uh, they can't really move uh, and they can't really uh, uh, go through those normal functions of uh, uh, receiving the nutrients in, uh, into the cells in all our, uh, parts of our body or we can't um, uh, really uh, take out the, the toxins uh, through our uh, lymph if those cells are sticky and it's lots of inflammation around. So that's how we start, uh, uh, that's, that's the start of development of uh, chronic conditions like uh, cardiovascular uh, conditions like uh, uh, hypertension or uh, like um, uh, diabetes or uh, cancer or uh, dementia or uh, anxiety depression any uh, mental health issues so uh, we can see how actually uh, uh, our immune system uh, 
really defend us, but in some cases our immune system really uh, when come to the point when they can't deal, uh, our immune system can't deal with that much uh, inflammation produced, can't really regulate that uh, production of inflammation in our body. That is the time when uh, our body is overloaded uh, with uh, usually with a physical or emotional stress or inflammatory foods or drinks or uh, many, many other uh, sources. So uh, really, uh, what, what is the what is the really uh, way to prevent that? Uh, easy easiest way is actually uh, to prevent and to look after yourself to prevent uh, uh, development of uh, chronic diseases. And any uh, uh, holistic or, or functional uh, practitioner will uh, really tell you and really. Uh, educate you about prevention uh, uh, in the way because uh, prevention is really simple and easy we have to just look into our lifestyle into our nutrition and uh, uh, our diet and do the simple changes around that and uh, uh, if we do that regularly uh, we won't come to the point uh, when uh, we'll have development of uh, chronic uh, uh, diseases uh, in most cases in most cases sometimes genetics also uh, uh, influence that so regular prevention regular wellness checkups are really really important uh, and that's why i would love to really educate and spread around the world uh, of importance of the gut health and importance of uh, of uh, our immune system to straighten up our immune system and importance about uh, simply looking after yourself and uh, 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 improving your lifestyle and your nutrition. Hope this helps and that you learned something new today. Uh, I will see you uh, next time in my next video. Bye for now.